Okay guys, I'm gonna teach you a song today about lines. So are you ready? I'm gonna sing something and then you're gonna sing it right after me. So we're gonna go horizontal. You're gonna say horizontal. So let's try it. Horizontal, horizontal. You say is sleeping, is sleeping. Horizontal, horizontal. Is sleeping, is sleeping. Vertical straight up and down. Vertical straight up and down. Diagonal whoop, diagonal whoop. All right, let's try it again from the beginning. We say horizontal, horizontal, is sleeping, is sleeping. Horizontal, horizontal, is sleeping, is sleeping. Vertical straight up and down. Vertical straight up and down. Diagonal whoop, diagonal whoop. New part, we say wavy, is bumpy. And you repeat, wavy is bumpy. And we say, spiral is going around. Spiral is going around. Zigzag goes up and down. Zigzag goes up and down. But horizontal, horizontal is sleeping, is sleeping. Horizontal, horizontal is sleeping, is sleeping. Good job, guys. Do it from the beginning one last time. Horizontal, horizontal, is sleeping, is sleeping. Horizontal, horizontal, is sleeping, is sleeping. Vertical straight up and down. Vertical straight up and down. Diagonal whoop, diagonal whoop. Wavy is bumpy. Wavy is bumpy. The spiral is going around. Spiral is going around. Zigzag goes up and down. Zigzag goes up and down. But horizontal, horizontal is sleeping, is sleeping. Horizontal, horizontal is sleeping, is sleeping. Good job, guys. Now follow the art video so we can make some lines. See you soon. Hi, today we're going to be creating a little line project and we're going to be thinking about all the lines I just taught you about in the song. So you can put a piece of paper vertically, meaning straight up and down, or horizontal sleeping. Either way is fine with me. You're going to need some crayons, so pick any color you want to start. The first thing we're going to do is we are going to make a long line going straight up and down. This is a straight vertical line. You can put it anywhere on your paper. You're just gonna make it long and straight up and down, vertical. Now you're gonna do one more line anywhere you want, going straight up and down, but you're gonna make it a little shorter. So use your same color, and you're gonna do a short vertical line, straight up and down, and stop. Now switch colors. You can pick any color you want. You don't have to have the same colors as me because after all, art is all about you being creative. The next step you're going to do is you're gonna do a horizontal line. You are gonna put a horizontal line anywhere on your paper. Remember, horizontal lines are sleeping. So they're laying down like this. And you can make your horizontal line anywhere on your paper. The next step is you're going to do a small horizontal line and you could put that anywhere on the paper as well. Next, you're going to grab another color and you are going to do a vertical line with a different color. Put it somewhere else. I'm gonna do a short vertical line over here and a short vertical line over here. Now I want you to do three more vertical lines, any size you want. So I'm gonna do one, two, and three. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven vertical lines. Next, you're going to take another color and you are going to make two horizontal lines. They can be short or long. They can even cross through another line. Watch this. 
horizontally sleeping, a sleepy line. And I'm gonna do one up here, two sleepy lines. Now change your color again. Hurry, find a new one. Okay, um, I'm gonna do red. Now I'm going to make a diagonal whoop. And you can make your diagonal go any way you want, just like a slide. Oh, this is not red, this looks pink. And then you're gonna make another diagonal whoop. I'm gonna make diagonal over here. So we have diagonal whoop, diagonal whoop. Now we are gonna do a zigzag line, friends. Zigzags are a little bit harder, but I know you can do it. I'm gonna use a purple. Your zigzag goes up, down, up, down, up, down, up. And do one more for practice. Up, down, up down, up, down, up, down. It's okay if your lines cross over each other because you are making your whole paper full of all the new lines we learned about. Isn't that so fun? I'm gonna grab another color so you guys can get a new color too. I'm going to get yellow this time and we are gonna make spirals. Spirals go in circles, spirals are going around. And you start here and it's okay if you don't get this right the first time. It just goes around, around. You could practice again, make three of them, anywhere you want. Wow, that's so great. The last thing I wanna to talk to you about is thick and thin. Thick lines look a little bit like this. I'm going to make one right here. I'm going to draw a line and I'm gonna make it look thicker or bigger. So this is a thick line. Can everyone say thick? A thick line. Let's practice with another thick line up here. A thick line means it's bigger. Look at that. Great work. Good job. So we have a horizontal, horizontal, is sleeping, is sleeping, horizontal, horizontal, is sleeping, is sleeping. Vertical straight up and down. Vertical straight up and down. Diagonal whoop, diagonal whoop. Zigzag goes up and down. Zigzag goes up and down. Spiral is going around. Spiral is going around. Zigzag goes up and down. Zigzag goes up and down. But horizontal, horizontal, is sleeping, is sleeping. Horizontal, horizontal, is sleeping, is sleeping. Wow, friends, look at this amazing art you just created. If you want to add any more lines to fill in your white space, please do that now. I think I might add one more zigzag over here and another zigzag right here. Oops, I broke my crayon, that's okay. And I wanna add a few more verticals. One, two, straight up and down, and maybe I'm gonna add a couple more diagonals. So I'm gonna go diagonal zoop, diagonal whoop, and look, my artwork is all done. And what every great artist does is they sign their name at the bottom of their paper. I am going to write Mrs. Cordero. If you don't know how to write your name yet, that's okay. Now you've created a beautiful work of art by just doing simple lines. Great work, friends. Hi, friends. I'm gonna teach you how lines become shapes. So we're going to start with two horizontal sleeping lines. One in the middle and one below. This is below. The next thing is we're gonna start right here and we are gonna make vertical straight up and down. Here we go vertical straight up and down, and we're gonna make one more. Vertical straight up and down, 
the next step is we are going to make a circle. A circle is just one line that goes around, around. Try it again. A line that goes around. It starts in the same spot and ends in the same spot. Try a big one. Circle around and try it again. Circle around. You can use any colors you want. Next, let's make another square. Remember, we did two horizontal lines, one and then one below. Next, you're gonna go to the top and you're gonna make a vertical stripe up and down. Whoop, whoop. Let's do one more over here. One horizontal line, one below, which means underneath, and then Whoop, whoop. Wow, look at how many shapes you guys drew. That's amazing. You know what else we can do? We can make a triangle. A triangle, which some of you might know, you start with a horizontal, it's a sleepy line, and then you make a diagonal up and another diagonal, diagonal up. You also have the choice to do it again. A horizontal line, remember go diagonal up and stop right about in the middle and diagonal up and stop in the middle. It's okay if you make mistakes, just keep going. Should we make a big one? I think so. We're gonna do a long sleeping horizontal line and then we're gonna go all the way up, stop, and all the way down, stop. Great work, friends. You also now need to color in your shapes. I think I'm gonna use a different color. I'm gonna use blue in my little circle. I'm coloring in my circle, I'm making it all blue. And I'm trying to color very slowly and take my time. I don't wanna see any white spaces. Let's color this circle a different color. I'm going to use this color. This color is called Wild Strawberry. And I'm gonna color in my circle and make sure there's no white spaces. Oh my goodness, I bet yours look amazing. Great work, friends. And now let's color in maybe one of our squares. I really like that green color, so I'm gonna try a light green. Whoa, this almost looks yellow. And I am taking my time and I am coloring in and making no white spaces. Take your time. If you need to pause the video, that's okay too. Let's try mm, another color. How about the color orange? Let's color in this triangle, an orangish color. Here we go. And look, you can leave this little part of the square if you want, uncolored, or you can color it all the way in. And then it looks like the triangle is on top of the square, right? Wow, you just learned about on top and under. You guys are amazing. And I want you guys to continue coloring in your squares and triangles and circles. Okay, so when you're all done, remember what every artist does. They try to write their name. If you can't write your name at the bottom of your paper, that's okay. Do the best you can. I have an M, which looks like a diagonal line, and also two verticals. I've also got an R and an S, which is a curvy line, and a C, that's a hard one, it's a curve, and an O, R, D, E R O, Mrs. Cordero. Just do the best you can. You can practice writing your name. Wow, you guys, you've created lines and shapes today already. I can't wait to create again with you soon.